I wanted to pop on here really quick and show you how I get the best results for my 4D mascara. Okay, so by now you have this mascara in your hand and you may have used it once or twice and thought, meh, that's okay, that's how I was too. It took me about four to five applications before I realized I could get amazing lashes super quick and super simple. So I'm gonna show you my best tips and tricks for this mascara. First off, when you get the mascara, make sure you don't um, pull it straight out, okay? When you pull it out too quick, I just, I already did it too slow, but when you pull it out too quick, you're gonna pull way too much product out. You don't need all that, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is slowly pull the wand out of the tube, okay? Pull it out of the tube. Now, it may not seem like there's much on there right now, but there is. You can even scrape some of the excess off. There's a lot of mascara on this wand. Now, when I apply my mascara, I like to hold a mirror up under my eyes, and I start with a little wiggle wiggle action, okay? So we're gonna do this together. I'm gonna hold my uh, mirror right about here, and I'm just gonna start at the base of my lashes and wiggle. So I'm not even going up my lashes yet, right? We're just doing a wiggle wiggle, and what this is doing is creating volume at the base of my lash, okay? It's gonna create that fuller look, okay? So that is my first tip. A little wiggle wiggle at the base of your lash. Then we're gonna apply it like regular mascara and just pull it up the lash. So straight up. Now this part is absolutely no different than any other mascara. Okay, can you see the transformation happening? You can see my lashes, right? Now make sure you get all the lashes from the outer corner all the way over. Okay. Once I have what I feel like is a good uh, base coat, I then go to my lower lashes, apply, and then hit it again, okay? So with what is left on that wand, I get right in there and apply to my lower lashes. There we go. Now, this uh, coat that I just did is super light, right? That is a very light, light coat. If your mascara is um, older, meaning more than, I got mascara under my eye, oh well. <laughs> if your mascara is older than maybe a month or so, you'll wanna go back in and get a little more product. If it is brand spanking new, you don't need to get more product. Just use what's on that wand, okay? So I'm gonna go back, do another little wiggle wiggle, Okay, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Okay, and then up the lashes. And do you see how gentle, gentle, <laughs> I almost made it my own word, how gentle I'm applying the product? I am not being heavy handed with this. You wanna go super light. If you go too heavy, you're gonna end up with clumps and yuck, okay? You wanna be super light. All right. What do we think? Can you guys see this? Look at that. Boom! Now, what I usually do is I go over to the other eye, I put the mascara on the other eye, giving this a moment to dry, and then I just go back in and tip those lashes, meaning I just hit the very tips of the lashes. Now, if you have blonde lashes, you might need to go in behind to make sure you don't have any blonde peekaboos because that happens. All right, that's it. That is how I get my amazing lashes. It is super simple. 
if you have lashes that hold hands, so can you see right there I have some lashes holding hands? Just grab a good comb and break that lash hand holding up. There is a big difference between a clump and a handhold. If you follow all of these tips, you won't get clumps, okay? You may get a handhold, break it up. <laughs> all right, that's it. That is how simple this mascara is to apply. Look at those results. Incredible, right? Thank you again for snagging your 4D mascara. I hope these tips help you have the most amazing lashes of your life. I know you're gonna love this mascara. Have an amazing day. Stay awesome, be true to you.